Hello, my name is Lady Cole and I'm filming this from London. Um, the work I do, I'm an actor and a writer, sometimes I model, and I recently wrote a book called Who Cares Wins, which is looking at many different ways of thinking about our climate crisis and the connected biodiversity crisis and social issues um, through many different lenses, including what we can learn from indigenous communities. I'm passionate about creativity, nature, and connection, community, the experience of being alive with other humans and, and animals at this time. I found the question that was asked really, really powerful um, because so often I think we consider what climate solutions might look like in a very external way, whether it's business or technology or politics. Um, and actually, I think that the most important change that needs to happen is, is in ourselves, that everything that exists outside of ourselves is a reflection of ourselves and a reflection of the, the values that we hold, the beliefs that we hold, the desires that we hold, um, the emotions that we hold, and that we'll only really truly address these issues when we change ourselves. So I thought the question, as human beings, what things would we need to change about who we are to be able to care for life, in itself contains a lot of wisdom because it focuses the need for change on us and us as human beings. And in terms of the answer to that, I mean, I don't pretend that I have any kind of silver bullet answers or I'm an expert on, I don't think there are any experts on this. I think that we're all learning and, and one of the things that we really need is humility and openness. Um, I think a need to collaborate and a recognition of what we have in common, of what the billions of people on this planet have in common rather than focusing on our differences focusing on our similarities and also focusing on what we have in common with other species that we happen to be alive in this moment in time in this ecosystem and that our life is kind of codependent with other species is, a, is an important recognition so um, I guess less of a hierarchical view of of nature and and more of a codependent one recognizing yeah our dependence on the world around us um so yeah, I think also questioning values because so often in at least the society I grew up in the Western world, living in England and also in America and different places in Europe, it feels like the value system was so often and still is so often focused on um, particular ideas of success that are very individualistic and I don't think necessarily make people happier. And so shifting to alternative value systems that recognize that human happiness can come in many different ways and kind of questioning the value systems we were taught as children and what actually does make us happy and what would actually bring value to our lives, um, which might be a closer relationship with nature, which might be a closer relationship with a community of people, which might be following our hobbies and our passions into jobs, into work, um, for example. I think those kind of yeah subtler subtler shifts could actually have a huge impact on our relationship to nature and to land. Thanks for inviting me to share my thoughts and I look forward to hearing everyone else's.